yeah, everyone's been pretty busy in all the different Facebook groups. I take it you've been has work been pretty chill or has it been kind of heating up? Oh, it's pretty. I, I I'm on like a security type team, so I don't. <laughs> my job's pretty pretty easy, and I, and they finally got me out of the office completely, so I don't have to go in anymore for any reason. <laughs> so, um, they get they hired a guy full time to do the in office support for people, um, so I can focus on what I'm doing. But yeah, they've. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, they're gonna pay for like my now second security certificate this year, so I'm gonna go into that in September. So. I just gotta, I'm just waiting for a job to open in the company where I can apply for it and just racking up the certificates. So, <laughs> good idea. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely gets down to that whole uh, dilemma of just waiting it out a bit. Is like, okay, let's test the waters. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I, I, when it comes to work, like if you want to pay me to do the job I'm doing and you keep giving me a good raise every year, not, not like this 3% bullshit, like you actually uh, keep up with everything you, which they have. If you keep up with the, you keep up with good raises, I'm willing to do this job. I don't give a shit. I'll do this as long as you keep paying me well. And while I wait, it's, it's the jobs where you're like, I'll string you along and make <laughs> you give you that two and a half percent. And then, uh, um, promise you an opportunity. Like, that's what I'm thankful I don't have to put up with here. So, yeah, good point. I mean, they brought back Justified. I, 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 I'd watch or notice if you brought it back again. It'd be freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I know Donovan said on Twitter that he had a, uh, well, what you call it? Uh, he. It, he had asked the people at Fox and they had pretty much just given him a run around the bush and said, we're not interested in making a movie at this time. So it does make you wonder, okay, well, what would stop you from doing a TV show? <laughs> yeah, I think it's just, I think it's just bullshit typed on there by some, somebody wishful thinking or something. Probably, but hey, that eventually someone listens. Uh, I'd like to think that some people are actually listening to different requests and not just saying oh they want it back let's remake it no don't remake it bring it back <laughs> continue it <laughs> you're not saying redo it reboot it <laughs> i mean i would have i mean if they would have continued on like with like jesse and sam um i, I would have watched that too i mean i would have you know but th this this was also during a time you know when <sighs> tv was like if we feel it's done then you're not getting any more we're done you know? yeah and when tv took the netflix type of route we don't care how popular it is if we want it done we're done yeah it's kind of very underwhelming and now that everyone's acting like oh pick this or pick that it's like well why can't we have it both ways <laughs> why can't we have both tv and movies <laughs> but this show this is burn notice is a show that like I it's I can pick it up and watch it again and again. Like I, I will like usually once a year I'll just start it over and just, just to watch it through. And I'm always like I'll do it that I'll do that with audiobooks too. I, I read a lot of Stephen King audiobooks, so I, I listen to <laughs> you know, I listen to those over and over to try and catch new things. I'll do the same thing burn notice because I don't know. I don't watch a lot of shows. I watch a lot of movies, I watch a lot of horror movies with my wife, but um, series it has to be a pretty good series for us both to sit down and want to watch it um like we started watching justify the new one yeah and we kind of bailed on the second episode after we saw like his daughter get caught and, we're, and my wife's comment was there is no way Raylan Gibbons would raise a daughter this fucking stupid like <laughs> uh, man um, I'm gonna have to check it out I she she, she just gets yeah, she just falls for a con artist and you know, and it's like you think he would have taught her better, and I'm pretty sure he did, because that's just kind of the person he was. So it makes it kind of hard to watch because like that doesn't doesn't feel very justified. Gotcha. Justify. I see what you did there. Justify. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not a bad it was i mean we'll probably we'll probably watch it eventually it's one of those shows where like um you know it's not good enough to pull us from what we want to watch um that's how we watch that's how we treat a lot of we'll watch a shitty like like literally uh, we watched like a couple months ago we watched a movie called stephen kang's sharks of the corn um an amazon garbage you know movie horribly produced watched it all the way through it was so bad but <laughs> oh, what was it called again it was uh... stephen kang's sharks of the corn <laughs> <laughs> uh, deep it is as bad as you think it is um but you know that's the kind of stuff we're like you know what we'll watch that but if you you do something that's like could you it's oh, got a high bar. i have heard of that one. Oh my god yeah but like justified though it's got a high bar so you go in and you're like i expect i expect perfection from this show because it was so good and you can be highly critical of that stuff if you when it comes in so yeah i think it's a different writing team but i do get yeah. worried half the time when it just seems like uh if they're trying to elongate something for the hell of it it's like yeah you don't have to do that <laughs> there was some sitcoms they brought back and i was like yeah i, I think i'm good you don't need to do that <laughs> yeah and some of them some shows just some shows just get cut off too soon like um shut eye yep. which also had yep. jeffrey donovan that, that was a that was a fantastic show and we're like we saw you know we were like yes it's renewed whatever and then they just cut it it's like god um we were thankful though that minx hbo cut it but stars picked it back up so we're like have, somebody was listening <laughs> yeah and that's what i hope becomes a norm i'm hoping like these streaming sites just wheel and deal they're just like you know what we don't you know i like i was surprised that hbo brought back winning time which was a you know um it's like a reenactment of the lakers dynasty oh yeah i, I thought for sure they're gonna can that but they didn't but they can gilded age and so i was like it's I, like maybe, they I, I, selectively choose what they're gonna cancel i yeah. there's other stuff i want to see but i can't justify like having six different subscriptions and it's like well peacock i've enjoyed some of your stuff I'm in no rush to see Twisted Metal. It looks like fun. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, we we just canceled Peacock because it's like we had it for a while, and then it's like we want we're watching the MacGruber series, um, <laughs> and it was good, and that's then good. We just kind of like I other than the Psych movies, I I just wasn't like in a hurry. Just like I I can do this for one month, and then I'll renew it when something better. But you guys need a yeah. little something more because for the most part. They were kind of just like taking other stuff that was already on like five other streaming platforms. And I was like, well, I'm waiting for some original content here. <laughs> yeah. The psych movies, those that got to the, those were like, they came out just too late. They just came out too late. They, they should have came out when the series was big because they would have been awesome. Um, oh, did you see the third one? Um, yeah, I, I've seen. We've I seen thought it was all. better than the first two, which were kind of yeah, yeah. should have, like you said, come out earlier. <laughs> yeah definitely um it just it felt like they were just playing on nostalgia i mean they were good i liked them they were funny I, I but yeah that's true them. there is a lot of um, nostalgia in these i'm worried about the daredevil show because like i i it set the bar so high that whole universe with the defenders and everything and i'm like okay if you guys are going to come back it better be a really good reunion instead of 20 more sequels <laughs> yeah I, I do the police academy rule stop after part seven <laughs> Mm. I'm impressed with the new Star Trek shows, but lo and behold, man, it is crazy how many people will watch those shows, and it's like they clearly missed the point all this years. They just thought it was, hey, sexy space cops who kill people. I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> it's been a metaphor for all kinds of things. All these war criminals, all these religious zealots, all these things we can't talk about in society, but we put on makeup and change the scenario around and we can have a conversation about it which is scary <laughs> but it takes that in order to have a mature conversation <laughs> a lot of people didn't think it was about the conversation and they just thought it was about sexy aliens i'm like ah, no <laughs> i thought they ended picard pretty well though <laughs> yeah i need to 
Those, I, we, don't, we don't subscribe to Paramount Plus, so it's like it's another one. It took a if while. I, if I get that, <laughs> it's going to be pirated. That's if I want to watch it now. I mean, that's literally the only way. I, can, I mean, that's how I watched Ted Lasso. Like, uh, fair just, enough, man. I hey. just pirated it because I don't, I don't, I don't want to support Apple. I, I love Ted Lasso, but I fuck Apple. <laughs> yeah, no, Apple has done some shitty things, and that's the other thing too. I'll see so many people who will want to beat around the bush. Oh, want to support this or that? I'm like, well, you don't have to. <laughs> You can like the product, but hate the I think person. it was you that posted the meme that was like, I think it was you that had the little, the teenager who was like, ah, oh, my old friend, and it shows him pulling a pirate hat out of a drawer, I think. Yeah, I it think so. Been, yeah, and then he's this. like, and he's like, he grows up and he's like buying, you know, it's like Netflix, he's going to put it away. And then all the streaming sites, hello, old friend. That's how we <laughs> feel. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, there was a point, like, whenever our ISP, um, in it was in May of 2015, they like said, we're going to be putting data caps on people. And if you don't want a data cap, you got to pay $50 more. And I'm like, I'm like, really? So we're like, okay, well, we weren't going to do that. We were going to, you know, we were going to, you know, watch our data and everything like that. But before, because we knew when it was going to effect. So I'm like, I told my wife, I'm like, let's buy it. Let's pay for a VPN. Let's buy um, a couple four terabyte hard drives. And, oh, give yes. and I said, give me a list. And I just raided the pirate bay and i just got everything and my data the purpose of it was kind of that but part of it was like i want to see how much i can boom and i was Let like loose. i hit like eight terabytes or something like that in a month and, uh, <laughs> and then eventually we got to the point where like okay it's getting to be work to watch our data you know so i hate how amazon won't let us use a vpn i'm like damn it i want you still my data either amazon (laughs) yeah it don't yeah anybody who anybody who listens to a content creator who takes a vpn thing saying yeah you can do this watch bullshit you can't do it they've already all figured it out the only one that I know it still works for is if you want to watch like BBC through like the Canadian TV. Oh, it will work for that. You can get Canadian TV shows if you change your VPN that way. I don't think they've gotten around to doing that because we 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 would watch Murdoch Mysteries, yeah, um, <laughs> um, on Canadian TV like that. But uh, I'm also afraid that when they start removing some stuff, what's to keep them from doing that in the future? Is like, oh, Amazon, don't remove them. That was a powerful social commentary. <laughs> but then they would announce oh we're going to renew something and then a year later oh we canceled it i'm like why are you pulling to netflix but netflix was yeah. the one who did the whole oh we let your contract deliberately expire and we're not going to honor it or give you an extra year <laughs> i think that's part of the thing that the writers strike and the actor strike are trying to to make as part of the stream platform is that they have to release their numbers so they can't um so then the the people who are part of these this content have power to be like, uh, uh-uh, uh, you yeah. have a, you have millions of people watching this. You're gonna, you bet, you should renew this. You don't, don't try and be like, because then if they can share that with the people, they can be like, I don't care if it costs you a lot of money. We want to see it. So, uh, yeah. and I think that's how. And I, I mean, Wednesday was a great show. I loved Wednesday. It was a great series. Yeah, uh, but I don't. <laughs> Not every show has to be, it shouldn't be like that. Like you should be able to make the like niche shows that make you a little bit of money, but like Didn't it get capitalist... picked up by a different this... platform. Yeah. This capitalist bullshit of like, it's got to <laughs> make us the most money or it's not for the least amount of cost or it's worthless to us. Even though we um... didn't advertise it. It's like, <laughs> yeah. well, you're not going to make money back if you don't advertise any of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh they had a newer show called The Night Agent. I've only seen an ad on CNN. That's pretty pathetic that only one channel has decided to post an ad for it. Why wouldn't it be multi-platform? They got the yeah. money. <laughs> and I do like what some of these these streaming sites are starting to do. Like when MGM Plus put From on Amazon, I didn't know that show existed. I didn't know what it was. I never even I didn't know MGM Plus existed. So like yeah, Amazon I was just- like just bought mgm so yeah so it's like boom there it is and like for a little bit amc put um dark winds on shutter for a little bit i was like oh this is a great right. show never knew same. it existed yep <laughs> same platform amc plus you know, i was like so, yeah you know but yeah i it's wild how they're having to kind of 
they're pretty much having to not only cut corners, but now they're having to like have like five different backups. If you don't see it on here, you can see it on on demand. If you've already cut the cord, then you can see it on these two streaming. I found platforms. myself watching Pluto and Tubi a lot more than I, I love do like, this, yeah. the stuff that I pay for. I like it. Yeah, we're we're considering like the only reason like we pay for Shutter is to support Joe Bob. So like, <laughs> if he go. leaves, we're cutting Shutter. Like, <laughs> there you go. Because we watch so many horror movies that when they put that, where's the new stuff? We're like, seen it, seen it, seen it, seen it, seen it, seen it, <laughs> and it's like, eh. I I support I so su I support the Gizmoplex, the Joel Hodgson's Mystery Science Theater place where you can watch most of the episodes on there, but. Same kind of deal. If it just, I don't think it'll shut down anytime soon. But technically, if anyone has subscribed to any other channel to try and watch those, it's like no need. It's all on there. You can watch it anytime, anywhere. No commercials. <laughs> I think that will be the future of how content is done. Like, if this actor strike, you know, really gets its teeth into it and rips rips the assholes apart, you know, like I think we're going to see more of like, like Joe Bob has a Patreon. Where you can you can if yes, you pay level you can see his old monster vision stuff and and things like that with his the classics <laughs> and and things like that you can see that old stuff. Um, he's kind of a from an older age though, so he a lot of his stuff is lost to time. He might have some of it, but but newer people they can into their contracts they might be able to have more more power to be like if you hey streaming side if you decide to pull this you give me authority to release it in my own way. And I can release Patreon. I can I can raise content that way. I can have full reign. Like I think that's, I hope, I, I, right. I hope that that's <laughs> that's the way it goes someday. Where don't give us excuses to cut more and more cords. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's looking like John will have to pull out for now. But this has still been fun just talking with you. If about... you want to pause it here and have it. In reschedule and continue it i'd be I, burn notice is you got my you got me like burn notice is my <laughs> show like i can i i know i don't know a lot of the actors names like but you tell me the character name yep I, I, okay i know what season okay. that is and yeah. here's what the i love it so yeah we can totally pause reschedule um and it's well that you brought that up uh i've actually was just uh what was i just looking at i was uh seeing uh did you ever see the marvel knights show uh hellstrom it was kind of like their answer to other demonic possession things and this is the beauty yeah. of hulu now is they pretty much will keep everything up there they won't keep removing it non-stop it's called hellstrom yeah oh shit see we only pay attention to disney plus we always figure all the all the marvel shit's gonna be there so yeah. <laughs> um God damn. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's how it is in Canada too, where it's just like anything that they don't have over there, it's all on Disney Plus. So the US, it's a different deal. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, let me know if you do if you continue this. I'll be I'll be glad. I'll even go watch sure. some episodes, catch myself up. Um even more. Um I, I'd love to do it. Um I love Burn Notice, so whatever that that's definitely one you you do it, I'll be there for that one. So <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> We'll return after these messages. The Jacked Up Review Show podcast is honored to be part of the Blind Knowledge Podcast Network. Join anytime, talk the talk, and enjoy yourselves. There's something enlightening for everyone with this crowd of cool cats. Check them out. Hey, it's Brent Pope, the host of Breakfast with Brent Pope. You've seen me on some of your favorite TV shows saying things like, give it up, Jimmy. You got to sink this putt to win. On Breakfast with Brent Pope, I sit down with guests from the entertainment world and we do it all over breakfast. Or should I say breakfast? Every week on Breakfast, you get inside Hollywood info and tips, great breakfast wrecks and hootie debates. Most of all, you get the most delightful 30 minutes of your week. So dig in. It's breakfast time. Listen at breakfast.com, Apple Podcasts, or wherever fine podcasts are found. Do you ever find yourself thinking about who would win in a fight between Goku and Superman? Hi, I'm James Gavsey, and on the Who Would Win show, me and my co-host Ray ignore anything important happening in the outside world 
and debate fictional battles between characters from comics, movies, and video games. We got a new show every week, and almost always, am I the winner? <laughs> yeah, not true, Ray. In the past, we've discussed such matches as Captain America versus Darth Vader, Solid Snake versus the Iron Giant, classic matchups like RoboCop versus Terminator, and even the Muppets versus Sesame Street. That one was crazy. So if you're a fan of geek culture and love a spirited debate, check out the Who Would Win Show wherever you get your podcasts, or check us out at whowouldwinshow.com. Follow us on the web on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The podcast is available on Podbean, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Anchor, Apple, and anywhere else podcasts are available. Feel free to review our show and leave comments on any of those sites. Thanks a million for listening. It's a jacked up.